Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name's Eric, and I make apps. Now today, let's answer the question, will apps become obsolete? Last week, I was in a meeting with somebody. It was a technology person, and we were talking about I was telling her about Overpass and how you know, we make apps and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, and she said, oh, really, app, you know, is, is there a real need for that? Because apps are on their way out, right? And I said, well, I don't know if apps are on their way out. She goes, yeah, no, it's a new one. It's going to be, a, what's it called? Uh, uh, what's it called? And I said, Progressive Web Apps, PWA. She said, yeah, that's the one. That's, I heard that's the new thing coming in, right? And I said, yes, but most people don't know what that is. And everyone's trained to go to the app store. And I do think PWAs will be big in the future, but we're not there yet. All right, and I don't know, hopefully we will get there because it sounds like a really good opportunity. But I don't know, but then she said, well, don't you think apps will be obsolete in the future, right? And this is not the first time I've heard this question. People say, do you think apps will become obsolete, right? Due to whatever, progressive web apps or, you know, people are downloading them less over time and all this kind of stuff. And, you know, it's, it's difficult to answer that question because like my, you know, the whole company is Overpass apps. We make, you know, mobile applications. We, you know, everything runs pretty well. There's lots of people need applications. And I always compare it to the web. Like I can remember when people say websites were dead, like after the dot-com boom, uh, I, I sorry, after the dot-com bust, back in like 2002, everyone was saying, oh, you missed your boat on the, uh, on the million dollar, you know, website, whatever. But apps, I mean, websites still continued as the useful tools that they were. You have a few, you know, big, you know, overnight successes, well not overnight successes, but huge successes, but you also have lots of really useful things and we are much more tame when we think about websites. Uh, in apps, there's still a bit of hysteria about apps. Still, I still get people call me up saying, I've got this billion dollar idea and they wanna share the idea with me and everything. But to be completely honest with you, do I think that apps will become obsolete in the future? If I had to say like my own self-interest aside, yeah, I think they might do. I think that apps may be obsolete in the future, but we're not there yet, right? So last week I got, so we're working on this one application uh, for one of our clients and they have like a, like, so it's like they have a front end and we deal with their API and everything like that. So I've been working on the apps or my team has been working on the apps. So we've been, you know, checking the data from the API. So we make a change on the front end, all that stuff. So, but I didn't have access to the front end. So I said, Actually, can you send me the can you send me a link to the front end because it'd be good if we if we have like a test system we could do this quicker rather than have to go through you every time right standard stuff and uh, so they sent me they sent me an executable like a Windows desktop app right so I thought man it's been a long time since I used one of those I had to run a virtual machine to run it run the executable and everything like that and I thought and now I remembered I can remember doing VB6 apps for the desktop thinking hey, the web is really cool, but it just can't do the things that a desktop app can do, right? I just, I thought, you know, there's some things the web is good for, but the stateless nature of it, you know, the fact that you have to, you know, submit and post back, all this kind of stuff, the, you know, sometimes you just need a desktop application, especially when you have lots of transactions and all this kind of stuff. But over time, the web gets better and better at taking over some of the things that we thought had to be done on desktop. And that might be the same with apps. I mean, we're already seeing it with progressive web apps, where there's, you know, when, you, when you start naming. So I always do this thing when I meet with clients. I, I name the things that an app can do that a website can't. You know, the, you know, the local storage, the GPS, the camera access. All this stuff is becoming available in PWAs. So I do think at some point, the app itself, unless you have something that's like a game that needs like high processing power, like a lot of computing power, you need to be able to write things, you know, close to the uh, to the metal and everything. I think that's going to be the case, but we're not there yet. PWAs are something that a lot of people don't know about. I mean, we're still at the point now where I've had, you know, I've had clients that were you know, they're confused about the fact that the app is not on the app store if you give them like a PWA, if you try to explain it to them. And I've tried to explain what PWAs are to potential clients saying, you know what, with this, you know what, this should be a website because it, it takes space on the app store, they get 30%, it's hard to get, you know, you have to get approved, all this kind of stuff. And um, they still want to do the app. They still think the apps are better. But, you know, I think it's, it's more of a public perception thing. I think we've all been trained by, the, by our phones to go to the Play Store or to go to the App Store. So 
I do think um, apps will become obsolete in the future. I could be wrong, right? Web didn't become obsolete. Yet, or sorry, desktop apps are still there. Some of you, know, you still have desktop apps, but not nearly to the case that you did before, right? So that's just, just my opinion, right? And, and, it, and also, the app stores are not like the web. I mean, I always compare the two. I see a lot of similarities between the two of them, but one of them is owned by, the app stores are owned by Apple, they're owned by Google, right? We're kind of at their mercy and the web is, is free and open. So, hey, that's my opinion. What do you guys think? Do you, hey, do you guys think the apps will be obsolete in the future, right? And for me, I've, I don't think they're gonna be obsolete in the near future, obviously. Otherwise, I wouldn't wanna be still doing apps for clients. We wouldn't be more profitable now than we have been in the last several years. But, you know, eventually I think it will be. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Anyway, that's it for today. I'll talk to you tomorrow.